We hope you enjoyed the What's the Difference Lab. Let's take a look at the concepts that you learned. You now know that species have unique bodily functions and organs that allow them to adapt to their respective environments. But let's take a closer look at some of the actual physical adaptations that several animals undergo. In your lab, you compared and contrasted the characteristics of support, food, and reproduction between a monkey, a lobster, and an apple tree. Let's explore each characteristic and see how it differs for each organism. We'll start with support. Each organism has a different support system based on its environment. For example, a monkey will have an endoskeleton, meaning its skeleton is located inside of its body. It will also have lungs that allow it to breathe air. The lobster has an exoskeleton, meaning its skeleton is on the outside of its body and it protects its inner organs. The apple tree does not have a skeleton, but it does have bark that protects the inside systems of the tree. Each organism needs food in order to survive. The monkey typically eats fruits, leaves, honey, coconuts, and insects. The lobster is a little more carnivorous and eats crabs, sea urchins, plankton, and small fish. The tree is different altogether. It creates its own food through photosynthesis. It uses carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight to produce chlorophyll to eat. All three organisms reproduce in order to preserve their species. Monkeys reproduce by mating and giving birth to one or two offspring at a time. Lobsters reproduce by giving birth to an average of 8,000 lobsters. Can you imagine having 8,000 brothers and sisters? The tree reproduces through its fruit. When an apple falls off or gets eaten, their seeds fall out. If the seeds end up in the soil in the right conditions, it will eventually grow to be a tree of its own. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has reinforced the concept that you learn in the lab that each species is specifically structured to survive in its environment it lives in. Next time you eat an apple, think about how it came from a tree. Maybe you can even plant one in your backyard with the seeds.